Hello and welcome to the series of video tutorials on how to use the online portfolio. In this tutorial I will give you an overview of the online portfolio homepage and the information that is displayed. The online portfolio homepage is divided into four main sections, with the navigational menu running horizontally across the top. Let's start with My Credit Summary, which displays the credits you have entered via the online portfolio for the current and previous CPD years. Slightly above this is probably the most common button you will be using, the green Add New Activity button. As the name implies, this enables you to enter your activities one by one. These two orange buttons allow you to view your action plan and view and submit your annual CPD return. The section summary of submitted CPD returns shows a table with your CPD credits displayed for the current five year period. You may notice that the credits shown in the table do not match those in My Credit Summary. In this example, you can see that the total for 2014-2015 in the table is different from that of the figure for previous CPD year in My Credit Summary. This is because the table displays your CPD credits only after you submit your CPD return and after this process by the CPD department. Just below the table is an orange button that lets you download and print your CPD statement. Once your submitted CPD return has been processed, and you can tell if this has been done because it will appear in the table, you can print your own CPD statement at any time, for example if you require it for your appraisal. Recently added activities displays your last five entries. You can print, edit, or delete any of these from here. My CPD review relates to the annual quality assurance process. If you have already been notified that you have been selected for the CPD review, you can click the section to generate and submit a report of your CPD activities to send to the CPD department. If you are a medically qualified doctor, you can also generate and save a report of your revalidation activities from this section. Finally, the Help Centre displays various guidance documents. You can click the orange Help Me button to view frequently asked questions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial.